Have you heard that joke where a desperate man asks God if a million years are like a second for him? Well, if we do compress the entire age of the universe in a single day, that man won't be wrong. Astronomers have further divided this cosmic day into different periods of a day. We have a cosmic dark, a cosmic dawn, cosmic noon, a cosmic afternoon, and then the present times, which we may perhaps call the cosmic evening. Although we may have pretty much figured out the moment of the first light, there are still wide gaps during the periods of cosmic dawn and cosmic noon that are shrouded in mystery. Without a full understanding of these periods, we can never piece the history of the entire universe together. But don't fret because NASA may have found the right tool to peer into the time. Welcome to Space Telescope and today, let's find out how we're going to solve the mystery of cosmic noon. The sun is bright, and it's a hot day. The entire village is cooped up in their respective houses. They're holding their breaths, peeking through the cracks in their closed windows to watch the sheriff come out as the church bell rings precisely 12 times. He looks down the road to notice bandits pacing towards him. It's time. It's high noon. Any moment now, the entire village will witness flashes of light and hear the explosions of gun barrels as bullets will fly everywhere. The cosmic showdown that took place at the noontime of Universal Day featured different sorts of fireworks. Somewhere around 2 to 3 billion years after the Big Bang and about 10 billion years ago from today, galaxies went through a growth spurt akin to what humans experience during, well, puberty. No, 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 no. We're not talking about what you did in your alone time in your bedroom. Come on. We're talking about how humans gain height all of a sudden during their teenage years. They lose their adolescent charm, start growing facial hair, and of course, the worst of all, acne. Ugh. In short, a growth spurt. During the period that we define as the cosmic noon, galaxies experience something similar as well. The star formation rate during the cosmic noon was extraordinary. In fact, star formation was on the rise after the Big Bang for the first few billion years or so. There was plenty of pristine star forming material around, and the uncontrollable strength of gravity was incessantly pulling galaxies together, merging them, and replenishing gas reservoirs. This process peaked somewhere around 10 billion years ago from what we call cosmic noon. During this period, stars were formed in almost every galaxy at a rate 100 times greater than the rate at which our galaxy Milky Way produces stars in present times. And that is why Cosmic Noon is an important piece of the puzzle. That is, the universe. It is a time of great importance to fully understand why the universe is and how it behaves today. Without understanding what went down during Cosmic Noon, we will never be able to figure out why star formation was so rapid back then and what made it decline later. Why did some galaxies suddenly stop forming stars while others faded out gradually? How important were local influencers like the number of galactic neighbors in shaping this evolution? To figure this mystery out, astronomers need a clearer window into the past. And this is where the Roman telescope comes in. Wait, didn't we just launch the James Webb Telescope? So why do we need another telescope? Well, to put it simply, there's no one-fits-all solution when it comes to the telescope. Think of it this way. If you have any interest in photography, you may know that photographers use different lenses for different photography purposes. Telescopes at their base core are nothing but lenses in theory. In order to get astronomical data about different wavelengths, scientists have to use several different types of telescopes. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, named after the great astronomer and first female NASA Chief of Astronomy, is a Hubble-sized telescope that will revolutionize astronomy by building on the scientific discoveries and technological leaps of the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes. Currently planning for an observatory launch in late 2026, Roman will provide a panoramic field of view that is 100 times greater than Hubble, leading to the first wide field maps of the universe at space-based resolution. 
Unlike Webb's telescope, which offers superior sensitivity over Hubble, Roman's unique ability to do wide field surveys at space-based resolution will enable a very ambitious science program. NASA's Roman Space Telescope will not only create enormous cosmic panoramas, but will also help us answer questions about the evolution of our universe. In a five years mission, Roman Space Telescope is expected to survey 100 million stars and find 2,500 new exoplanets, helping us to perhaps complete our initial galactic census. As Roman is powerful enough to capture thousands of objects of interest in a single view, scientists will be able to study the universe on a macro level like never before and notice patterns and evidence of evolution across galaxies. With a single image from Roman, astronomers will be able to put individual galaxies into context and observe how their growth spurts followed by the slowdown that varied depending on their location within the cosmic web, that is, the large-scale structure of the universe. Astronomers believe that a dark energy began expanding the universe faster than gravity could pull things together. The expansion thinned the chances of mergers. As mergers became rarer, the gas available to form new stars was becoming contaminated with heavier elements. Thus, the rate of star formation plummeted across the universe as well. This process of quenching drove previously active stellar nurseries into a state of relative dormancy because of fuel supplies dwindling and feedback mechanisms preventing further births. But this is not the beginning of the end of the universe. We are still in the cosmic evening. The star formation will continue, albeit at a slower and slower rate for trillions of years. The evidence for all of this comes from looking at the distant universe with powerful telescopes and from state-of-the-art cosmological galaxy formation simulations. Even in our own galaxy, Star formation is continuing at a rate of somewhat a star per year. However, on a cosmic scale, we can expect the Milky Way to quench sooner than later. According to Kate Whitaker, assistant professor of astronomy at the University of Massachusetts, galaxy quenching is a sudden end to star formation. So catching one in the act can be quite difficult but she is hopeful that the Roman telescope will be able to spot such blink-and-you-miss-it occurrences. Yes, images from Roman would help astronomers spot galaxies of interest, but much more information can be garnered by spreading a galaxy's light out into a spectrum. Examining a galaxy's spectrum can reveal information about the ages of its stars, its star formation history, how many heavy chemical elements it contains, and a lot more. By doing this for a large number of early galaxies, astronomers can learn about the processes that drove and eventually brought an end to this period of rapid growth. Roman's power can be boosted an extra mile by observing distant galaxies whose light has been distorted by a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. The gravity of an intervening galaxy cluster can magnify and brighten the light from a more distant galaxy allowing astronomers to study the background galaxy in more detail than would otherwise be available. Thanks to this amazingly powerful telescope named after the mother of Hubble telescope, astronomers would be able to efficiently identify and characterize the most interesting galaxies in large fields of view. And then hopefully, we would know better what killed the star formation at the high noon of the cosmos. Tell us in the comments what do you think the cosmic night would look like and as always, thanks for watching Space Telescope. Do not forget to give our channel some love by sharing and liking our videos. Subscribe and ring the bell for more amazing videos to follow.